All right. Good evening, everyone. Tonight, we have a real variety of different hands. Uh, don't forget, starting in May, we're going to be doing themes, the same theme, whether it's one day or two days, so you'll all know what to study and what to look for. But tonight, I've given you four different kinds of hands, and um, I look forward to demonstrating them with you. Are there any questions before we begin? Any questions from anyone? No questions? Okay, everyone's happy to go. All right, let's go. I'm going to load the hands for you now. The hand number three is one of the hands we're going to talk about. We're going to discuss the bidding and the play. Going to go pass by south, pass by west. And partner being a passed hand, I wouldn't want to open anything but two spades. It seems pretty right to do that, to show that you have a six card suit and you don't have an opening hand. East is going to double the takeout double, perfect takeout double. It's the three for one sale. I've got three suits. I'm short in spades and I want you to bid. And south with three spades to an honor should bid three spades according to the law of total tricks. That is called a block out bid. Three spades just says, partner, I can take the lead. I have at least one honor with you. And we have nine trumps between us. Three spades makes it very much harder to come in vulnerable against not vulnerable. And now West would have to come in at the four level on a four card heart suit, but holding three spades to the queen will definitely not be coming in because we do not guarantee four hearts on a takeout double. So it's going to go pass, pass, pass. Okay. And now what do we lead? We've got two choices. We can either lead a club or we can lead a heart, but I like to look at the dummy. And because they're weak, I like to put on the ace and expect the stronger hand to be in the south hand. And I'm going to lead the other major. I'm very fond of leading the other major when they open one major. They're usually short in the other major because you should not open a week two with four in, an, in the other major to an honor. So I lead the ace of hearts. And looking at this hand, in the spade suit, we may have a spade loser if they do not break. There may be two and two. We don't know. We definitely have one heart loser. We definitely have two club losers. And we have a diamond loser. So we have quite a lot of losers in this hand. So partner will guide you what to do. So it's going to go the ace of hearts. And partner's going to drop. Can they afford the eight? Maybe, maybe not. I think they have to. And now they're going to play a low heart. And they're going to trumpet. So now looking at the hands together, we still have one suit to set up, which is the master hand, the one with the long trumps. So we have definitely got a fourth round loser in the diamond suit. There is no guarantee that the diamonds are going to break or the ten of diamonds is going to come down because if the ace takes one honor, we have a fourth round diamond loser. And we need to trump our diamond before we draw all the trumps. So I would play a diamond to the queen. Second hand low. The king is somewhere. The king is somewhere. So you don't go flying in with the ace. And another diamond. Back. To the jack. Or the king. Well, we won't play the jack, but play the king. And they'll take the ace. 
And now they're going to play. They won't play another heart because they know for a, for a fact that they've got no more hearts. So looking at the Queen of Clubs in Dummy, and you don't know if they've got the Ace of Clubs or not, um, whether you should play that or not. So let's try it. Maybe we should just play another diamond or you can play the Jack of Clubs. Let's try the Jack of Clubs. And when you've got two left, you play the highest one. And you'll play another club. And your trumpet. Now, you've got to draw trumps. We have no idea how the diamonds divide. But if they break two and two, we have no problem. We can rub one diamond with uh, the eight of diamonds with a trump. So we're going to play. I always test the opponents, you know. I play the jack just for fun. The jack of spades. And it goes nine. And it goes another spade. But I really can't afford to take a chance. Maybe they're not going to cover them. They're going to break. And they don't break. Okay. They don't break. There's not much we can do about that. And now I take my eight of diamonds, which is a loser. And I'm going to trump that diamond with the two of spades. And that takes care of the last diamond loser. Leave them with the good queen of spades. It really doesn't matter. And now we're going to play a, a heart. And then your jack of diamonds is good. And you'll make the last spade. They go one down. One, one down, yeah. One down's good. You're not vulnerable. We only want to stop them coming in with a part score. There you go. So we didn't bid to make it. We bid it as a block out bid. If we had to look at it in hearts, we have to work out. We have one spade loser. We may have one heart loser. Because they've got the jack nine, that's two. We may have two diamonds, it's four. And one heart, one spade. We'll find the club right, because we don't expect the hand that opened two spades to have that as well. We might make three hearts. We might go down one, but we just can't let them play and come in the bidding. We're there to block them out. Are there any questions on this hand? Linda, when they led East led clubs first. Okay. What's your rationale for putting up the queen? You have no cards to promote. You play you low. Gonna... You so never the... put up the queen. When they play the jack, you put up the queen. You don't have to put up the queen. They'll duck it. Okay, and you I could duck play that. The jack just... without the ten. In the middle of the play, I played the jack. If but they normally, play jack, you five. cover it with the queen or let it go. Well, you've got the eight. I've got no idea what's going to transpire. But you can duck it, and they will duck it. Okay. So it doesn't really matter, one way or the other. Okay. Are there any other questions on this hand? I need you to block out according to the law of total tricks. If you've got nine trumps, you should be at three spades. I can't. They may make three hearts. I've got no idea. They've got no club losers. They're going to lose two diamond tricks, one spade and one heart. They're going to make three hearts. So three spades should be a very good score. Any other questions on this hand? Now, if you had four spades, South, you cannot bid three spades. When the bidding goes one spade and their opponent doubles, you bid four spades according to the law now. You're not vulnerable, they are vulnerable, and you've got 10 cards between you. You must bid four. You're not bidding to make it, you're bidding it to block them out. 
Any other question on number three? None? Okay. Yes. Yes, Linda. Yes. Uh, this is Rosa. Uh, could you review for me quickly? Um, maybe everybody else knows the law of total tricks. The law I of total tricks. Yes, the number of chat. trumps is to what level you should be added together. Oh. If you have nine trumps, you should be at the three level. If you have eight trumps, you should be at the two level. And if you have 10 trumps, you should be at the four level. Thank you. Pleasure. Linda? Yes. Linda, when, um, <clears throat> that's how we bid, and we went down one. But my my partner, who's all, uh, my wife, who's always right, by the way, she indicated that um, why did I do three spades when I didn't have three and a half quick tricks? And I you said, didn't need it. No, I said it was because I was bidding the law of Trump and I was trying to get in the way and I didn't intend to make the bid. Is that correct? Hundred percent. The weaker we are, the more they've got. And also the vulnerability is very favorable for you. If they are vulnerable and you aren't vulnerable, you should get busy. Then you get active. Oh. You must get active. This is a bidder's game. Okay, thank you. It is a bitter's game. I understand. Absolutely. So, uh, I mean, if you're vulnerable, it's another story. But on this hand, oh my God, definitely you must bid. Especially no, when I, you can I, take I, the lead. You can take the lead. You've got the king of spades. I don't want my partner leading the suit if I don't have an honor in the suit. You understand? No, I, I do I do understand that. And I but three and a half quick tricks. That's only for opening think. the bidding or responding to a week two. That's when you bid two no Trump asking a question. Two no Trump okay. asks a question. You need three and a half to four quick tricks. That's correct if you're looking for a game. But you're not Thank looking you. for a game. You're blocking out. Oh. She's hey, right, I... but, but she missed, she's right, but not in this context. Thank if you very much. If you're looking much. for a game, you definitely need three and a half to four quick tricks. That's what I've taught you for sure. Right. and But if that this was not the situation to apply that. No. This is the time you okay. need to do the block out bid. And that's why I want people to start blocking out. And I've been four spades. Can I ask an unrelated question? Yes. What is it about? Losing trick count. I don't know if anybody wants to hear that on this lesson. Okay. Uh, what did you want to ask me about it? Tell me. Okay. Queen XX. How many losing tricks? We what? Queen XX. Three. Three. Tricks? Three. Three Thank losers. You. Three Thank losers. You. Okay. That's it. Good. Okay. What Next would time. happen if West did bid four hearts? Oh, we'll finish. We're done. We've done our job. Okay. If they bid four hearts, that's up to them. They might double and make a responsive double. It's not penalties. When two people agree a suit, the double is values. Partner, do something. They call them DSR. Do something intelligent. You <laughs> have to double. If you want to, but it's not penalties. We don't double into game. Okay. All right. Hand number five. Um, let me look at the hand. Uh, hand number five has got too many points to open one no trump. So we're going to open one club. Pass by east. One spade by south. Pass by West. And now this is where all the mistakes come in in bridge. I've seen this happen day in and day out. And so many of you but two spades. You, the opener, have to bid the limit of your hand. And the first thing I taught you when you look at a hand is number one, shape. Number two, do you fall in line with 15 to 17, no trump? And number three, always think of your next bid, your rebid. Now, looking at the hand, you know, partner's got six points. You have 19 and you bid four spades. It is not a sign off. You are bidding the limit of your hand. It is so important that you get to game. 
you have to get to game everybody. Okay? You've got 19 high card points. You cannot be out of game. Partner's got six. That's 25. I don't want you to mix up the difference between an opener and a responder. If an opener opens one spade and responder bids four spades, that's weak. It's called the weak freak. That's the one according to the law of total tricks where you have five trumps and six to eight points. Let's not confuse the two. The opener describes, the responder decides. And on this hand, the opener must show and tell the strength of the hand. Okay? And the lead is the queen of hearts. And never cover. If you can't promote a trick in your own hand, you do not cover. L L Linda, a question for you. Yes. Just before we go any further, um, when when North bids four spades, I guess South becomes the captain here, and if they have anything more than a minimal they hand, they, they they can move on. For uh, sure. Yep. So many slams are missed because of that. So once open is shown the strength of the hand, that the, the uh, responder's got to add two hands together and know there's a slam if you've got a good hand. Thank you. Okay. Linda? Can I ask yes. a question? I, I, I've not had classes with you before. So back to the the opening bid of one club, even though mm -hmm. they only have eight points, because my understanding is you want at least 11. So I know I'm backing way up. Can you explain that? Say that again. The opener opens a club. Yeah. The, the, and with only That's in North. Points? That's oh, in North. North. I beg yeah. your pardon. Sorry. Got it. North opens the club. Yeah. Never mind. Sorry. And South now bids one spade up the bidding ladder. Mm -hmm. Okay. Does it, do you understand, love? I do. Thank you. Okay. Never cover. One day, Ace Doubleton or something. You never know what's going to happen. And you're going to trump it. You have no club losers. You have no diamond losers. We've lost two hearts, and now we've got to try and eliminate two spade losers. And one of the most important parts of this game is to play towards our honours. We never lay down honours. We play towards our honours. Okay? So we're in our hand, and we need to play towards the king of spades. And second hand low. If you put up the ace of spades in the second seat, we're going to make the hand because the king will draw the five and the queen will draw the jack and we're not going to lose any more spade tricks. We're only going to lose one spade trick. Second hand low, everyone. Put up the king. And now you've got to hope and pray that the west hand has ace doubleton, but not the jack. You want the jack in the east hand. So when you come back a spade, if the east hand had jack 10, you would never put up the queen because you know for a fact that the ace, ace is with the west hand. You would play low. Never put up the queen. You can't promote anything by putting up the queen. We're missing the jack and the ace. But unfortunately, they're going to make two spade tricks and we're not going to make the hand. That is very unfortunate. But that is the technique of how you play the 4-4 fit, missing the ace and the jack. Up to the king, and if the ace is on your left, you play back to nothing, to fresh air, and hope that the west has ace little, ace doubleton. But you can't make it now, and you go down. Are there any questions about this hand? Any questions? Yes. Rosa. You're still up. No more? Yes, a question. Yes. Uh, why is the response, why is the bidding sequence not one club, one spade, 
to no Trump showing uh, 19 or 18 points. You should never deny a fit with a fit, sir. You only do it when you don't fit. You have an eight card major suit fit. In this case, that sequence might lead you to a makeable three no Trump, however. I don't care. I'm always for the eight card fit. Always. Okay. Always. And I would never ever play a no Trump when I know I have an eight card fit. I, I'm not a result player. There may be some hands that it could happen, but on this hand, somebody could have had five hearts and you can take four hearts in the ace of spades. So I'm always going to play in the eight card, uh, the eight card major suit fit. I never deny a fit with a fit, never. Okay. Okay. Partner may be unbalanced. You don't know. So it would be very wrong to put no Trump when you and and partner will, you know, you you so unbalanced. And also, if you put three no Trump over a club, a spade three no. I play that as a long running club suit, like a seven card club suit with eight tricks in my own hand. Two no trump would be 18, 19, but you can never have four spades. Never. Always show a fit with a fit. Okay. Okay. Any other questions on this hand? I just want you to remember that second hand plays low. There's no rush to go in with that ace of spades. And that's where a lot of people go wrong. We will never make this hand if you play second hand low. Okay, no more questions? Okay, let's get on with the next one. Um, hand number eight. Hand number eight. Pass by west. Pass by north. And now you're third in hand. This is one of the most important parts of past hand bidding. When your partner's passed originally and your right hand has passed, the left hand has usually got a lot of points. And if you're going to open the auction, you want to open for a lead. So that, because you have a feeling the left hand's going to play the hand. So you want to get partner on the right track. And to open a club on this hand is a disaster. Because if you open a club third in hand, because you were taught not to open four card majors without five, they're going to lead the queen of clubs. And let's go back to the, the opening bit of a spade. I know you're lying about the length. But at least you're telling partner you want a spade lead and you can pretend that's a five card suit. It's a really good suit. So let's open the spade third in hand. I often open a four card major third in hand with three honors. I want the lead. And now here we're going to make a bit. We have to do something. We're going to put two hearts. Mm -hmm. And why do we overcall a five card suit at the two level? You know, it's not my style. But because there's been a pass on my left and a pass by my partner, they usually open like third in hand. And I want to get across this five card major. Mm -hmm. Now, partner's got a really good hand. And partner has to make a choice of whether to bid their suit to spades and say, how good is your overcall? Or partner can automatically just go to four hearts. I would go to four hearts, and I'm going to tell you why. Mm -hmm. One of the things I've noticed in bridge, when I have no points in the suits that they open, my hand becomes stronger. They're not wasted cards. So when I look at nothing in spades and I have a singleton club, I'm hoping my partner's short in spades, and I think we may fit, and therefore on this hand I'm going to bid four hearts. Only because it went pass, pass, and they opened a spade. And it would go pass, pass, pass. Wow. Now let's look at, we're going to play the hand two ways. Mm -hmm. We're going to play the hand on a spade lead, and we're going to play the hand on a club lead. 
to show you the difference why it's so important that when you a uh, partner is a past hand to make a lead directing bid. Very, very important. Partner is going to lead the nine of spades. Top of a doubleton. Now, before we play, the master hand is the south hand with the long trumps. We have hopefully no heart losers. They'll break three and two. In the spade suit, we have three losers for sure. Um, in the diamond suit, well, it's too late now. They found the spade lead. I could have thrown away a spade on the king of diamonds if they led a club. And I'd be very happy making this contract. But a spade lead has spoiled all my chances. Mm. So it's going to go nine of spades, small spade, queen. Lowest of touching. Then you play the ace. And now you're going to play the king. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. And now looking at that dummy, okay? Partner's going to throw away a small card. He won't throw a diamond away because dummy's got four diamonds. He'll throw away the five of clubs. This is called negative carding. I don't like clubs. I don't want clubs. I don't want clubs. Mm. Play another spade. Mm. And you now play the ten of spades. And now partner's in trouble. South is in trouble. If South roughs with the nine of hearts, the ten is missing, the jack is missing, I'm down. If South roughs with the ace of hearts, I'm still down. So let's say you do rough with the ace of hearts and hope you're going to have to lose a heart trick no matter what happens on this hand. No matter what happens on this hand. Okay? Mm -hmm. And you're going to go down. Because mm -hmm. however you play the hand doesn't matter. If you play the king of hearts, hmm. and you play the five of hearts, second hand low, they're going to lose the jack of hearts, and you're going down. One down. One. You're never making the hand on a spade lead. Let's hmm. undo the hand, and let's go back to opening a club, which is what you were taught as a bridge player. Yeah. But not after today. After today, you're going to look for lead directing suits, right? We're going to make sure we make a lead directing suit third in hand. Once partners are past hand. Mm -hmm. So in straight bridge, we will never find the lead of a spade. And I'm going to tell you why. I do not lead doubletons. I lead from sequences. I only lead a doubleton if my partner bid the suit or it's the unbid suit. So the bidding would go, let's go back to undo the bidding. It makes a big difference. You're going to open a club. You've got an opening hand. And it's going to go one club. It's going to go over call one heart. Mm -hmm. Pass. And now I'm going to bid two clubs. The cubit. Of the overcall suit is going to ask partner, how good is your overcall? Sorry. Two clubs. I've got two defensive tricks. I have a heart bit with you, and I want to know how good are you. Okay? Mm -hmm. I guarantee a fit with you. Now you have 15 high card and a singleton. That's 18. You bid four hearts. Partner promises a fit. That is how you show the fit. Your hand now goes to 18 points. And you lead the queen of clubs. It's all over. You take the ace of clubs. Don't tell them you've got the king. My God, don't tell them. <laughs> you've got your losers. You're not in a hurry. But you may have some club losers. We'll take care of them in a minute. Let's get rid of our loser first in the diamond suit. The spade loser. Mm -hmm. Right? We've got to get that loser quickly. There you go. 
And now you can throw your spade away. It changes the whole hand. Mm -hmm. Now you can cash your king of clubs. Where are you? In the dummy? We need to get to our hand. Okay? So rough a diamond. Mm -hmm. Rough a diamond. Yeah. We'll catch the king of clubs. Throw a spade away. I never throw away cards I can trump, by the way. Never throw away cards you can trump. And I will trump the club. And now you'll trump the diamond. You don't want to lose control. If they throw away a club, that's fine. You don't mind. If they trump, you'll over trump. Mm -hmm. That's up to you. You might want to do an uppercut and trump with the ten of hearts, which can easily happen. A lot of people trump with the ten. It all depends on how you play. And now you'll trump another club. And now you're going to catch the Queen of Hearts. The Queen of Hearts is a trick. And now we're going to play a spade. And another spade. And now we'll play the King of Spades. And they'll rock with the nine. And they'll overwrap with the jack and you'll make the contract and you'll have no problem whatsoever because you opened a club and not a spade, third in hand. So that changes the whole dynamics of the game, everybody. Okay? Any questions? Any questions? Third hand play. Past hand bidding. Very, very important. And Any that... questions? The Queen Jack 10 5 of Clubs is a good lead in the sense it's a series or no? It's a very good lead, but not if your partner opens a spade. Right, correct. Thank you. You want the you've got to lead your partner suit, otherwise you get a new bridge partner. Right? Okay. No other questions? Okay, hand number 10. Wow, don't you love preempts? I love preempts. They're always there to destroy the opponents, you know? The more we can get in there, the better. We're all vulnerable, so I think we should open three diamonds on this hand. It's not the greatest point count, but sometimes you've just got to do it. And now South is going to double. It's a three-suit takeout. It's not penalties. It says, partner, please do something. I've got a three-for-one sale. And West is not invited to the party. Now you have to make a bid. All your points are in diamonds. Five of them are in diamonds. I don't want to bid four clubs. I've got too many points and I don't want to go to five clubs. If I go to five clubs, I'm too high. I might lose three tricks. In five clubs, I could lose three tricks. I could lose a spade, I could lose a heart, and I could lose a diamond. Now I'm not going to make five clubs. So when I have all these points in their suit, and I have enough for game because we have enough points together, I have to make a bid. And to me, the best and cheapest bid could be three no trump. Partner, don't worry. I have the diamonds under control. And partner's got a pass. And that's the correct contract. How many people were in three no trump today? I'm I'm really interested to know. Yeah, How yeah. many? You can put it in the chat. I can't see you, but I can see the chat. At least I can see how many of you were in three no. Yeah. How many? I don't remember. Huh? I don't remember. You don't remember? Mm -hmm. There about 12 people were in three no. 
There were 12 people? About 12, I'm counting. Oh, that's great. Reports. Okay. About eight, eight or nine, um, and then a, a couple were in Tuno. Oh, okay. Oh, I would always, well, Tuno, how can they be in Tuno if they open three diamonds? Maybe they open two diamonds. Hmm. Uh, I was, I'm now, just looking at what the results were. Okay, I so know. I would say uh, <laughs> if they'd opened two diamonds and my partner doubled, I've got too many points to put two no trump. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to jump to three no trump anyway. Mm -hmm. So we've got to be in three no trump. And they're going to leave the seven no diamonds. Now, before we play, we have to work out who's the dangerous opponent if they've got seven diamonds and I've got three is 10 and dummy's got one is 11, that means that my opponent, West, has two diamonds. I have to look what I need to take care Linda, of. Can I ask, yes. Can I ask a question about uh, the spades in the north hand? I understand what yes. you're saying with too many points, but you've always told us to never look only at points. What about the fact that even though South doubled, should North feel confident going three no Trump because of that double that that their partner has spades covered? I mean, partner's how does guarantee work? you three suits. I'm sorry, pardon me. Partner guarantees three suits. Three. Partner guarantees you stop us in three suits. Okay, thank you. You never have to worry about spades, but you do have to look at this Thanks, hand Linda. and see. What you need to do. Well, in the spade suit, we've got one trick. In the hearts, if we give up the king of hearts, we've got three. That's four tricks. We've got four clubs is eight. And one diamond for sure is nine. But we have a dangerous opponent. The finesse for the heart is into the west hand. And if we take the first diamond trick, they're going to have another one and they're going to swallow up my queen of diamonds or my king of diamonds and I'm never going to make the hand. So we have to think of the dangerous opponent. They have two diamonds. If East has seven, I've got three is ten, one in the dumb is eleven, they've got two. And my heart finesse is into the west hand. I want them to be able that they cannot ever get to their partner again. So we do what's called a hold-up play. It costs us nothing to give it to them. Now when they come back a diamond, I'm still going to make my diamond. They can never, ever get into this hand. Okay? Never. And now they play back a diamond. It doesn't really matter what happens. They're never getting into this hand. We need to do our groundwork first. I want you to play the queen of hearts. You could run the clubs first, but I like to keep control in case things don't break. So I would play the queen of hearts first. And when we finesse the heart, he, he can take it. It doesn't matter when he takes it. He can never, ever get back to his partner. And now we're going to make the contract. If he comes back the king of spades. What's the rationale for leading the queen instead of leading toward the ten? Because you always play the high card from the short side. Okay, here, thank you. That you want to be in that hand if the king works. Mm -hmm. You don't want to go back to the dummy to your hand to do it again and block the suit. So always play the high card from the short side first, just in case you can stay in your hand and not have to waste an entry. Okay, thank you. Okay. And if they come back the king of spades, I'm not taking any chances. Maybe they're creating an entry for their partner. You could duck it. They won't do it again. And now you can make your contract. You're going to have three hearts, one spade is four, one diamond is five, and four clubs are nine, and you're making three no trump. It's called a hold-up play. And that is how we make three no. Always think no trump. You cannot make five clubs. You've got to lose the king of hearts, 
One spade at least and one diamond. So you don't make five clubs. Always think no Trump, everybody. I don't want you to think no Trump. No Trump North is no Trump shape. So although South is denying a shape of no Trump, you have got the no Trump shape and you've got the double diamond structure. So please think no Trump. Any questions? No? Okay. Everyone's happy. Well, and you know <laughs> East is weak, so they don't probably have another entry into that hand. They could have the King Doubleton Heart. They could have King Doubleton Spain, but they cannot get in. And that's the whole purpose. We don't mind getting giving a suit to West, but we're not giving the, the suits to the East hand. Linda, can we do hand 12 when this hand is finished? I'm sure to, I will do hand 12 with pleasure. Has anyone got any questions on hand number 10? No questions? Okay, remember the hold up play. It costs nothing. It's all a matter of counting. Knowing that you can know they've got seven, knowing you've got three is ten, and they and dummy's got one is eleven, they've got two. That's all it is. All right, so what do you want to do on number twelve? Because I don't know the hand. Okay. Oh my god, what a hand. Nine card club suit. Wow. So it's going to go pass. And I do not open on this hand anything but I'm vulnerable. I'm vulnerable. They're not vulnerable. I think I'm going to open one club because of the vulnerability. If I wasn't vulnerable and they were vulnerable, I'd open five clubs on this hand. But because of the bad vulnerability, I could lose a lot, especially if they can make a game. I've got one, two, three, four losers. I could be doubled for 500. So I'm scared to do that because of the vulnerability. Normally, I'd open five clubs on this hand. Partner might not have an entry to my hand. And I've got no entry to my hand. So I'm going to open one club. And they're going to pass, or they're going to double. They're going to double. Clear cut to double. You've got an opening hand with shortage in clubs. And South is going to bid naturally as if the double didn't take place. One spade. They're going to bid two diamonds. They want the lead of a diamond for sure. And now you have the kind of hand with two singletons, okay? And once my partners bid one spade, they bid two suits. Oh, my God. I think I can't go five clubs. Maybe I have to. I, I don't want to go five clubs with the double over on my left. I think I'm going to bid four clubs. I don't want to be a no truck. And if my partner's got anything, partner will bid again. And now East has to make a decision whether to bid four diamonds. And, and he may bid five, four diamonds because of the singleton club. And now South wants to bid four hearts. I know that for sure, but partner told you I'm not interested in anything but clubs. So you've got a pass. You have avoiding clubs. When you've got a void in your partner's suit, your whole hand collapses everybody. You must remember that. The minute you have a void in partner's suit, your whole hand goes down the drain. I think the contract will be four, four diamonds. The vulnerability puts me against bidding five clubs. I'm scared of being doubled. Any questions? What happened? What did you get to? Thank you, what Linda. Uh, the uh, the East West uh, in our hand got the five diamonds. Um, they only made three diamonds. I so know that's too much of an overbid. Right, it was too much of an over. But four diamonds uh, shut us out. 
Okay. Now, and and they never went to five clubs vulnerable? No. And I think that that's probably, yes. If they went I to like five to clubs, your double goes more. on the table. You've got three aces. And you've got no guarantee of making five diamonds, but you know you can beat this hand. She didn't. She, My wife indicated she doesn't like to talk. She indicated that she didn't. Uh, that she was afraid of the vulnerability. She also opened one club. Oh, the vulnerability is so bad. Not vulnerable against not vulnerable. I don't hesitate on this hand. I'd always open a club and then but five clubs if I wasn't vulnerable, but I wouldn't open five clubs because we might have a slam. I'd rather open one and then but four or five if I'm not vulnerable against vulnerable. Thank you so much. Pleasure. Any other questions? Question. In yes. Your when North is thinking about his opener, uh, you talked about the possibility of one club or five clubs. What about four clubs? Why would you not do that? I think I'm, I think I'm too good for just a preempt. The hand is so solid that I prefer to open one. The okay. hand's too good for four clubs. Okay. Much too good. It's a solid nine-card suit. I tell you, if I had three losers, I open two clubs, and when my partner bids two diamonds, I bid five clubs to show three losers. And that's what I would do if I had a nine-card, if I had three losers. In other words, I've got an outside card somewhere. But this hand's too good for a four club opening. Much too strong. So I'd rather open one and then bid whatever. Okay? Mm -hmm. Any other questions? That's a very interesting hand. But when you avoid, your whole hand falls down the drain. Any other hands? Number nine. Number nine. Okay. I don't think we spoke about nine. Um, we haven't done number nine. Okay, I'm going to uh, pass. Pass. And um, uh, East passes. And south to open the bidding. Um, five and the same 12 and two, 14. I'm going to open one heart. I don't like to bury a five card major, not vulnerable third in hand. And now they can bid two hearts. Do you play Michaels? Anyone play Michaels here? Anyone play Michaels? It shows we've done this discussion before. That if we cubed the opener suit, the major, it shows five of the other major and five of a minor. Two hearts. If you don't put two hearts, you could put one spade. But I like to get two, two suits across, having known that my left hand has passed. If my left hand has not passed, I will bid a spade, everybody. But once my left hand's passed, I prefer to show two suits. So I would bid two hearts. What did you do on this hand? We did, uh, let's see, we did four hearts. And we, okay. went down, we went down at least one, maybe two. Okay, so let's go back. They bid two hearts. And now you've got, you've got seven... I would be in four hearts on this hand, for sure. When the when when we played it, I had only only five points, and my partner did do the Michael's Q bid, so I knew he had five diamonds, but I didn't have enough points to do anything. Or should if I? You have don't bid? know he's got five diamonds. He could have five clubs. Yeah, that's I I passed. You passed what? Four hearts? No, it went, um, as you said, it went a heart, and then my partner did the two-heart cubid, and I understood it to be Michael's correctly. 
Correct. But I didn't have enough points to say anything. You don't? It's, or, well, did they bid? That's the whole thing. Pardon me? Did North bid? Did North bid? Did North oh, make they bid? did in between. Okay, I see. So then if I... North, then if I... North didn't bid, okay, mm -hmm. I would just bid two spades with a doubleton. But if I had a singleton spade, Mm -hmm. I would I would bid to no Trump and ask partner to give me your best minor. Okay, okay. If so I had a singleton spade and they don't bid, I would bid to no to ask for the minor. Okay. Your other choice, of course, is to bid uh, north is to double and say I have 10 or more points and I can double one of their suits. But I don't mm -hmm. want to do that with such a hard fit because I've got all my points in the hard suit. If I point to in the spades and clubs, I would double. So I'd rather okay. just put four hearts on the hand. Okay. My singles and diamonds were three extra dummy points. And unfortunately, all my partner's points are in diamonds. And what are they going to lead? They're going to lead a singleton, right? And it's going to go queen. And you really should not cover the first trick when you see the jack nine in dummy. But I suppose a lot of you would cover. You shouldn't cover. But if you do cover, okay, they're going to now have to think about how they're going to play this hand. They're now going to play the queen of diamonds, not the king. Don't tell them you've got the king. Play the queen. Maybe they'll duck the ace. Because you know their suit's diamonds, for sure. If they duck the ace, thinking the king is in the east hand, you're very happy. But let's say they take the ace. How are they going to come back to their partner to try and get a club rough? They can't. They have a problem. So what are they going to come back? Ace and another spade, they're going to give you the king of spades. So the best thing that could come back is either a trump or a diamond. So let's say they come back a diamond, okay? Let's say they come back a diamond. You're going to trump it. You're going to trump it, aren't you? And you're going to catch the ace of hearts. And you're going to catch the king of hearts. Now you took care of that diamond loser. Because we rough with the short trumps in dummy. Now my only problem is the uh, spade suit. And I don't know what to do about the spade suit. So I will have to play the Jack of Spades. What else can I do? And I'm not going to put up the king because I know they've got the king. I mean the ace queen. They're going to win the queen. And they're now going to play the ace of spades. And then they're going to play another diamond. And now you can win the queen of hearts. And unfortunately, they've set up the ten of spades. And now you don't have a club loser anymore. Because you're going to go to dummy with the jack of clubs. And on the ten of spades, you're going to throw your club away and you're going to make four hearts. Everything depends on how you defend. Mm. And on the ten of spades, you'll throw your club away. If they defend that way, mm. everything depends on the defense, everyone. And now you're making four hearts. Any questions on hand number nine? Yes, I do have a question. Yes. Um, 
Yeah, I bid the uh, the Michaels. Okay. I don't remember the order of bidding, but um, I bid. There was a one heart bid to, in my right hand, and I bid Michaels. And my question is, what? How, what does my partner's hand need to look like to respond? Your partner could have a singleton spade and then partner if they don't, but Esther, but to no Trump asking you for your minor. Well, how strong would they need to be to do it's that? It's got nothing to do with strength. They have to, but they can't pass the cubit. They can't pass the cubit. No, they can't pass the cubit. Now, the cubit, the, the Michaels bit could be weak or strong. If they were very strong, they would um, make another bid to force you to show you how good they are by bidding their suit, the opener suit, if they're very strong. It all depends on their hand. So if they had three spades and they had a, a, a pretty good hand, they could jump. So it would go one heart, two hearts. They could bid three spades if they had a good hand. Mm -hmm. With three spades. You bid according to the limit of your hand. But we don't know whether partner's weak or strong. And the chances are that because there's been a, um, a pass and a pass, the chances are they've got better than a minimum hand. Michael's is weak or strong. Right. They say um, with an intermediate hand, you should bid naturally. You should bid one spade and not make a Michael's cubit. Okay. I missed that. I, I bid that wrong. Well, that is what I'm taught. That with 12 to 14 points, you bid naturally, and with weak hands or strong hands, 15 or more, you use Michaels. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> By the way, this is my first time, and I've learned a lot tonight. Oh, Thank I'm so you. happy. I'm so happy you've learned a lot. So you can go back and look in the archives of 2023 or even January, I think I did Michaels this year, and listen to one of the Michaels lectures and, and pick up that lecture there. Okay. Thank you. My pleasure. I put Any the link to the Michael's chat in the chat. Oh, good. Thank you. So then you'll look in the chat, Bobby. She'll put it in for you. Okay. So you can find the Michael's Cubert. All right. So is anybody all gold stardust this week? Everybody should be playing and getting lots of points this week. Gold, gold, gold. Okay. All right. Thank so, you, Linda. Uh, one more question. I'm looking in the chat and I can't tell which one is the lesson. I guess it's the second one where it's got a 240423 lesson. Um, uh, Lynn's put it in for you. It was the okay. 11th of January. Look at the lesson on the 11th of January. Okay? Mm, I don't That's know how the to link it. to Michael's. I'll, I'll figure it out. I don't know how to find it right now. You just copy and paste that in your Google, and you'll pick it up immediately. you could probably click it from there. He can click it from here, and you'll get straight into it. Yep. It's a great way. And now Thursday, we have balancing, cross-roughing, third-hand play, and watching entries. Oh, my goodness. Are there any more questions before I close BBO? No. Okay. Let me say thank you. Thank you. Very good. I'm thank so you. pleased you enjoyed thank it. Thank you very much. I'm pleased you enjoyed it, and I hope you all had a great time. I'll see you on Thursday. I'll Thanks, just stop Linda. sharing the screen. Thank you, Linda. It's a Thank pleasure. You. All right. Have a good time. See you Thursday, everybody.